So tell us just a little bit about your character. We don't want to spoil the movie for those who have Like, I haven't seen it yet because it was birthday bash weekend. You know, I had time. Right. But for those people that are planning to go out and check it out today with their friends and family. Yes, please do. Uh, I actually play a young lady named Brianna in the film who portrays Ayanna Jackson, who is the woman who falsely accused to... That heifer. Yeah, I, you know, I had to. I read. couldn't stand her all my life. You know what's funny? When I was studying for the role with my acting coach, he just kept reminding me, "Stop judging the character," because he knows how right much love I have for Tupac. Um, but just as an actress, you know, it's my job to always tell the the um, or to become the character. Um, as much as possible. I literally had to dive into, you know, the way she might have thought or the way she moved or how she talked or the way she dressed. Um, and just as an actress, you know, we we get so many different characters to portray. So this one by far was like someone I was like, oh, I don't like you, but I got to play you. So let's make it happen. Right. Okay. So... You have a very infamous <laughs> role yeah. Yeah. in this movie, I but see. it's really an important role because of why. Tell them. This role is actually a really important role, not only in the movie, but in Pac's life, because at this time when Pac goes to um, jail for the actual the false accusation before he's set free, uh, he actually meets with Suge and signs to Death Row. And so all you Tupac fans out there, you guys know, once he signed to Death Row, it was like a pivotal moment in his career. Um, and so I believe even after he met this young lady, you know, the police wanted him, the the government wanted him. You right. Know, he was like almost this untouchable guy. Right. Um, and then here comes this 19-year-old young lady who comes and sets, you know, helps set him up. So it, wow. was very, it was very, very pivotal, not only in the film, but in his life. So I want to know, now you're a very beautiful young lady, and the lady who accused Tupac of the rape, okay, does she look anywhere close to you? Because I picture her well, with, a, with a dragon face. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I've, I've seen pictures, um, you know, just doing my own research. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to meet her in real life and actually talk to her. Um, but just according to the research that we had, the pictures, the court documents, things online, interviews, she was l fair skinned like mm -hmm. myself. Uh, she had, um, you know, I mean, we we had the same, you know, skin complexion and maybe body build. Okay. Um, but no, I don't. I don't think we look alike in the face. <laughs> um, and I think that even with portraying this character, um, it was just important for producers and the director to feel like they had someone that can embody uh, that kind of character. You know, who could play the the villain very well. And I right. think I've mastered. <laughs> Playing the villain very Okay. Well, so. All right, you go ahead, you villainous oh, you. <laughs> so are they calling, trying to get you in a different roles because of this yes. fame um, of the Tupac movie? And it was like number one in a box office. Yeah, it's actually doing really well. Um, you know, as far as I'm hearing a lot of things just online that people say, the, the critics that actually matter are giving this like an A. Oh, wow. Um, and this film is a classic. I suggest that everyone just go see it for yourself. Never mind what you hear online or what two people might have said. Don't let that judge or sway uh, your opinion on the film. And let me just say this as well. Yes, people are calling. People are congratulating me on the role. A lot of people are saying, wow, you, you know, you left me in chills. I never knew you had this kind of talent. And I always tell people, because you see someone on television or you see them acting, you don't know where they've come from. You don't right. know what their journey was. And it's been a long road just to even get this one opportunity. I'm very thankful, very grateful for LT Hutton, Benny Boom, Winston Sinclair. Obviously, the whole cast did phenomenal. And I think together that we serve Tupac's legacy justice. Um, and, and hopefully the roles that come in in the future will be a little more uh <laughs> diverse but it doesn't matter <laughs> a little more diverse um but yes <laughs> roles 
you know, I'm reading for a lot of different things. Um, I'm waiting for another project that I, I got picked up on to actually start in right. production. So you're definitely in the right city to make yes, it happen. Yes. There's a production going on just around the corner exactly. from here. Like production is going on every All day. The and they said uh, what we're built. It's a billion dollar industry now Atlanta, from out of Atlanta. Atlanta is is, you know, a hot spot. Um, yeah. If you're an actor or actress. And you're like, eh, I don't really want to go out west yet. Atlanta is definitely the place. I mean, I literally was thinking about moving to L.A. And I'm, now I'm like, well, why would I have to? You know, um, I don't really have to anymore. Atlanta is the hub now. So it's the Mecca. <laughs>